Good afternoon, everybody. Today we're making pork chops. No, 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 pork ribs. We will need pork ribs, honey, mixed spice, mixed herbs, because I'm hurry like that, oil, salt, and sugar. First of all, keep the get the rice on boil. Can you please open the lid? Get the rice on boil. This should have been practiced, but it wasn't. Rice boil. Then put some oil in the pan. This is about two tablespoons. One tablespoon is better, but you know what. And I'm handing over the phone to Jenny. Okay. So, so many ingredients for ribs, but no. There's a reason for that. Put about half a cup of sugar in there. It sounds weird, but yes. Okay, so in goes the sugar. And some honey, because we like sweet pork ribs. But a tablespoon of honey. Where's... That'll be enough. Some spice. Spice up a lot, but it has been a bad, and some mixed herbs. Because we heard me like that. I sing so badly, but there are no songs, but I do sing quite well, actually. But, you know, that's the only karaoke, right? And like karaoke. And, of course, some salt, because salt is good with everything. Okay, so... Turn on the stove with the oil that it's going to heat up now. Make it about 100%. And then get your hands involved, but have been washed with Dove soap because it moisturizes as well. And then you're going to sanitize your hands if possible as well because cleanliness is like godliness. And then you just make sure they're all mixed up and moisturized. In theory you should put this in the fridge the night before but I'm in quite a bit of a hurry. And last minute, I got a last minute call that my friend is deathly sick. So I decided to make him dinner. I'm going to give him lunch at some point but I'm going to get this as his dinner because he's way too ill to make himself dinner. And I'm quite a nice friend I think. Don't you? Leave a comment on the on the the YouTube page if you think I'm a good friend. I do. Then you just take the turn the lid of the rice is over boiling, which it was. Let's see if the stove is hot enough. No, not yet. So we can just grab them in a bit more if the stove isn't hot enough. Because I'm, you know, I'm doing what I do best, drawing things. Dirty, dirty, dirty minds. Okay, there we go. So then you put them one by one. And the oil is hot enough for sizzles. I would like to sizzle them all, but I didn't make the oil hot enough. And you're off with the bang. This will be served with vegetables. But the vegetables will be in the pan with the rice will pot that the rice is in. So we won't have time to videotape the veggies cooking. But I will post on Facebook the final meal, which will be with vegetables. And it will be bloody fantastic. Blooming. You know what? Damn fantastic. And now you'll get some extra herbs and spices. So just sprinkle them over there. And this might be better in the fry, but I don't feel like making a fire or anything, because I don't have enough time. So this would be better. This also would be wonderful. It wouldn't be better, but it would be wonderful in an oven. Because there is a great in an oven, mm. but I don't have an oven. So it's perfect on this day. Just make sure they're thoroughly cooked. So <laughs> that's
Look at Rocky. We're going to video Rocky. Rocky. Rocky has grown exponentially. As all of you can remember if you've been watching my YouTube channel. He was a baby when we found him. Well, not found him. He got delivered to me from Victoria. All the way to Cape Town. I did. I did like a shot. All the way to Cape Town. Rocky, no. And from Victoria. All the way to Cape Town. And he was such a baby. He put it into my palm with my dirty hand. But he's a little angel. He's still quite naughty when there's food going on. But however, he is my darling girl's dog. That's enough for now. Uh, this will take about 10 minutes because you don't have to pay for that. So, enjoy your dinner or your lunch or whatever it may be when you watch it.